U.S. hasn't seen a total eclipse since 2017, and around at that time, around 12 million people were in the path of totality. But this time, we're looking at around 36 million people being in that path. We now go to our Southern Utah correspondent, Garrett James, who is at Bryce, Matt, Bryce Canyon National Park to see if visitors are already there getting ready to see the eclipse. I talked about it earlier this week. Crowds have grown at the Mighty Five National Parks for spring break, but are people already at Bryce Canyon for Monday's eclipse? Bryce Canyon was one of the many places in southern Utah where you could see the last eclipse in October. A lot of visitors at Bryce Canyon today were there for spring break and weren't planning on staying for the eclipse on Monday. Peter Dinsmore, the public information officer with Bryce Canyon National Park, told me that the park isn't anticipating a large crowd like they saw in October for the last eclipse. I did speak with one visitor and he said he's avoiding the national parks because he thinks they'll be too crowded for the eclipse. Yeah, I probably like stay more away from the out, like I go to the outdoors uh, sorts of the park, uh, the state parks like uh, down in Utah. Like we have Snow Canyon, which is a beautiful area, less known uh, versus Bryce and uh, Zion is a little bit more crowded. Now I did reach out to the National Park and they told me that the park was not planning on doing anything special for this eclipse. However, you're not going to want to miss this eclipse on Monday because the next total eclipse isn't going to be in the U.S. again until 2044. Reporting from Bryce Canyon National Park. Garrett James, ABC4 News. And a reminder, Utah is not in the path of totality, but we will see a partial eclipse here in the area.